He may be over 60 years old, but this granddad has won the respect of people half his age and even younger. At his age, he should be collecting his bus pass and taking steady strolls in the park, but not this granddad. At 5pm, Jiang Kui Gen is waiting outside the school gates at Yuhang District Experimental Primary School. As he waits to pick up his grandson, Yang Yang, from school, he's often mistaken for the young boy's father. In fact, many believe he looks so good for his age, he was even awarded in a local TV competition the title of Hot Daddy. After seeing me win the title of Hot Daddy on TV, many people like to tease me and crack jokes. You see, the title was originally meant for young fathers in a healthy baby contest in Hangzhou, but I'm a granddad. Zhang has kept his youthful looks by keeping himself active. He enjoys many of the same things that other people his age like, such as peaking opera and playing traditional Chinese instruments. But his real passion is hip-hop. I'm into bodybuilding and have been exercising every morning since I was 46 years old or so. I've never taken a day off or stopped exercising whatever the weather. Zhang's day usually starts at 5.30 a.m. He exercises for two hours every day. It was during his early morning workout that Zhang gained his first experience of hip-hop. I thought to myself learning something new is always good, but I also thought that people might think it weird if they see an old man like me learning hip-hop. Sometimes people say that people in their 40s are too old for dancing. His family and friends were not as keen on the idea. Nevertheless, Zhang decided to go for it. And he's found that hip-hop has brought him and his young grandson closer together. Both of us are so into hip-hop and I saw this as a great opportunity. He registered for the hip-hop class first and I followed. If I went to the class alone, I would be too embarrassed because people would consider me too old for be a student. But with him around, I don't feel as embarrassed because he justified my motivation to learn hip-hop. I had never heard of IQ hip-hop team until my grandpa registered there and brought me along. My grandpa told me I was doing well, so I continued to learn. Su Zhongxing, Zhang's hip-hop tutor, had doubts about his older student at first. I thought it over and then agreed to teach him. It was clear that he was physically able. It would be too difficult for many elderly people to attempt break dancing. But considering that he had done martial arts at Peking Opera in the past, we have decided to let him have a try. The grandpa and his grandson join the people in the dance studio every Friday night. After one class, any doubts that Su Zhongxing had had disappeared. Having studied the basics of hip-hop, Zhang is modest in his pursuit and admits that he finds some things hard. I feel like the younger students are able to pick up the movements faster than I can. Older people need more practice. But I'm willing to practice over and over again, ten times if necessary, to catch up with them. When we are in the hip-hop class, I usually have to teach him the movements. After several months, Jiang and his grandson have become skilled hip-hop dancers. Now, hip-hop has become an indispensable part of their lives. Yang Yang thinks that having a hip-hop grandpa is pretty cool. We have decided to form a group, just like two vaping tops combining into one. Yang Yang and his grandpa formed their own hip-hop group, which they called 6006. The 60 and the 06 refer to both their ages. Now their group has already become well known in Hangzhou. Zhang Kuei hopes to show others that elderly people are still capable of keeping up with the young.